Thank you for joining today. This will be a short overview of the PowerLink Essentials Yard Management Inventory Software with Integrated Interchange Data. The one thing with PowerLink and PowerLink Essentials is that your interchange updates automatically get emailed to you once a quarter. So unlike eBook where you update it once a year, with PowerLink you'll be getting frequent or frequent updates throughout the year with updated data as we're writing it, as well as corrections. So there's two versions of PowerLink. Uh, what you see on your screen now is the full version, and what I'm going to be talking to today is more the entry level uh, version where a lot of yards start out called PowerLink Essentials. The main difference being is in PowerLink Essentials, if we look down the left hand side here, your full PowerLink your sales functions are going to be in quotes, work orders, delivery tickets, and invoicing. In PowerLink Essentials, we take out the delivery tickets. You would also, in Essentials, not have vendors or purchase orders. So let's start out in quotes. And a few things you can do here is let's show you what the interchange looks like by finding a part. So if we go in, launch find part, let's do um, 89 Camaro, and we'll look up an engine. So it brings me up the interchange options to have the 2.8, the 5 liter, the 5.7. We'll do the 5.7. And here it shows me what I have in inventory. So it shows me black, our exact matches for I looked up, for what I looked up. The red is a non-exact. So here I looked up the D interchange. This is showing me if I'm going to interchange this over using an A interchange. I look in the notes here. This is how the A differs and what I may have to change to make this fitment work. Over here, you have your activity or your history. So on this first line under my store one in the U category, which means the part's unbolted, I've done 15 lookups. It's been in stock 100% of the time, never out of stock, how many I've sold, return, how many I have on hand, and my average selling price. Handy information to know, and this will become pertinent also when we go through the inventory process. Now, if I want to sell this part, what I can do is add it to an order, and it defaults to my cash account right now, and I'm actually ready to sell this part. By going in and saving the quote, doing a print save, um, I can come back to this later, or I could promote it right to an invoice right here. Now, if I want to sell this to one of my regular customers, I have an account, I can just simply start typing in their name, and if it's Central Towing, I will click it to add it to the order. Now I see their credit limit, where they're at on their balances, all their information, and now I'm going to promote this to an invoice. So now you can see we're in our invoicing screen. All I have to do to complete this is select the type of payment we want. Are we doing credit card, charge on account? I'm going to select a cash sale. And what I'm going to do is print this as a PDF so I can show you how it would print on your own printer. So what you can do is set up a laser jet printer, preferably with 8.5 by 11 plain sheet of paper. And PowerLink will make a nice invoice out of this out of that plain paper. Um, you also have the ability to, like on an engine, some of these items where the core has a high value, you could have a core charge automatically calculate in here too. So if we want to charge a $100 core price, um, that way we get the bad engine back and we can uh, sell that and make some money as well. Some other things you can do in quotes is you're able to email that right out of the system. So if it's um, a garage, a body shop, a retail customer, they want a hard copy quote email to them, you can do that and you also can include your images. So in PowerLink we give the ability to print a 4x6 barcoded part tag and we also have a nice free Android app called Snap It. So you can use the camera, scan the barcode, take a photo or multiple photos of a part or a vehicle, that will automatically attach that to that part in PowerLink. So when you're emailing a quote, you can grab any or all of those photos you want to send. So one of the things I can do is I can come under find orders and I could go back and find a previous quote. I did a week, a month, a year ago. Um, so this is a test system, so I don't have a lot of good data in here, but we'll try and find something we can pull up. So 
So if we go back, here's a work order from a while back. I highlight that, it shows me what's on the work order. If I want to go into that work order, I click display and there it is. If we've done that work, I can promote this to an invoice if it's ready to go. Uh, another thing I can do under find parts, let's go back here. Say I'm a U pull it yard, I can actually set up my 900s in here. So under part type 900, even though you're not inventorying parts off the vehicles, you can have just a list of vehicles you have in the yard. So if a customer's coming in and they want to look up, uh, have us look up what we have in the yard in the way of Grand Cherokees, I could put in a date range, click find, and these are all my Grand Cherokees. So I could tell them I've got this many, they're in this location in the yard. I can't tell you what's on them, but I might have something here in conditions and options as far as color, if they're looking for a specific color, uh, mileage on the vehicles. So now they can go out, pull their part, and um, you, you've given them some more information rather than just kind of have them wandering aimlessly. Uh, another thing I want to show you is how you can do a nationwide part search. So if we come in, and we use our Grand Cherokee again, and let's say we need an engine, and we're looking for the 6.1. I don't have anything in stock, so if I still want to help this customer out, what I can do here is I need to locate, go out, it'll find me the 50 closest yards, if it can find that many that have that item in stock. Here you'll see in a lot of cases, yards will have an image. I can actually go in, see what that engine looks like that that yard has, and um, I can actually see other photos they have too of that vehicle, um, see what it came out of. So what I could do is contact this yard by looking up who this customer is, gives me their contact information. I could call them, broker that part in, negotiate a price, then I can mark that price up, sell it to my customer. So I'm going to take you down to the inventory section. Some things you can do down here are add a part to inventory. So if I just have a miscellaneous part, I want to put this wheel in. Let's do a Grand Cherokee again. Um, I can have it display images. Which wheel is it? We want to do that one. The one ending in 137A. We can select 137A, click OK. I can price it, put in conditions and options, put in notes, tell it to print a part tag right here. Once I apply this and add it to inventory, now I can navigate onto my desktop if I want to locate images there and import those in. Now when a vehicle comes in, first step that you're going to want to go through is to add that vehicle to inventory. And we're going to do that by creating a stock number putting in the VIN if we have it, we can decode that VIN, track as little as much as this information as we want. We can put in source, owner information, insurance and towing information. I can set up costs, come up with a bottom line figure of what I got in that vehicle, and then over time I can do a stock ticket profitability report and see if I've made money off that vehicle yet or if we're still underwater on it. Now the other thing we can do is typically the way it's been done for years, a lot of people still do it this way. When I want to inventory that vehicle then, I'm going to create an inventory worksheet. So that entails going in, printing off a worksheet. It will be several pages long, put it on a clipboard, and it'll give me a list of Hollander part types, interchange numbers, and also my activity or history. So it'll show me for an alternator. Uh, how many times have I looked that up? It's been in stock, out of stock, quantity on hand. How many have I, have I sold? What's my average selling price? So what you would do is go out, circle off everything that's good on that paper worksheet, and then you're going to come into the section called Enter Worksheet Parts. So you're going to pull up the stock number of that vehicle. And then you're going to go through part type by part type. So if I want to add the grill to inventory, I'm going to highlight the one I have, click Add conditions and options, put in notes, etc. Now what some yards do is they skip a step. Rather than printing the worksheet out first, if they have a good network, Wi-Fi, internet connection, 
and they have a PowerLink PC that's not being used, the remote access it and go in and enter worksheet parts and enter that vehicle straight into inventory. Third method you could use, we're partners with a third party vendor called Buddy Automotive. They have a device called an Inventory Buddy, which is an electronic worksheet that runs on a tablet. You can load up multiple sheets, go out, inventory all day, take images, check core prices, do VIN decoding, and then come in, do a final desktop review, get your prices set the way you want them, and that'll automatically upload everything in the PowerLink. You can set up Inventory Buddy on your monthly Hollander bill. Um, so check with your sales rep, get more details on that if you're interested in that. So that's kind of PowerLink in a nutshell. There's some things during the uh, installation training process we go through, all your business settings, setting up employees, under tools you have PowerLink Pro reports, um, different things you can, can set up and run, print out, export in the way of reporting. So I would what I would uh, encourage you to do is contact your sales rep, set up a time, go through a much more thorough, in-depth demo like this where you can answer questions. There's many more things PowerLink can do. There's a lot of add-on products for PowerLink as well. We can integrate in an eBay Motors store and run it off of here. We have integration with credit card processing. We have integration with Rebuilders Automotive Supply for selling your cores and getting you core values in the system so you can see if, if they're, um, what a core is worth if they're buying it at the time. We, uh, a lot of different things we can show you. We do website design, website hosting. You can have your inventory listed on your website for purchase through an e-commerce shopping cart. So contact your sales rep, get a quote, get some information, go through a demo. We'd love to talk to you and show you what PowerLink's all about. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.